Hi, so today we're going to be looking at the Foxwell i80 Max plugged into a Jaguar XE2018. So we've got the VCI which we're going to plug into the car and it's a wireless connection to the tablet. So if we just connect on the diagnostic socket of the car and with the ignition switched on now let's go and have a look at the tablet. So if we go into Diagnostics, now we choose Jaguar, okay, click on Start, and then we'll go for Smart VIN, right, so it's read the VIN number now from the car and identified it, so yes. And now we can do a quick scan, which will go around all the systems it thinks can be fitted to the car, telling us what's there and which modules have got fault codes on them. Oh, so it's finding some fault codes already. We've got some there on the audio amplifier, body control module. So it's just working its way through all the systems. Some more fault codes, gateway module, HVAC, that's the air conditioning system. Image processing. It shouldn't be too much longer, it's just working its way through to all the systems. Some more fault codes. Right, that's it. Looks like it's finished now. So let's go back to the top of the list and have a look to see what systems we spoke to. And we can go in and see what, what these fault codes are. If we click on the report button, it then gives us a list of all the systems found with a summary at the top. And if you scroll down, it actually shows you all the fault codes from each individual system all on the list. So you can have a quick look at what all those fault codes were. There's also, you can click on the, uh, the save button, which gives you a chance to actually not save the, the scan, but you can also email it as well. So you click on the email button, there's an option there to fill in the email address, so you can send it straight to a customer or email it to yourself for your records. And then you can finally, you can actually print a, a PDF full version of the report uh, nicely formatted, which you can either give, give to a customer or again you can email it through to a customer as well. Alright, so let's go back and let's actually go into the system and actually see what these fault codes are. So there you go, we've got the fault codes there. So if you drop back to the previous page, we can actually just clear these codes. Okay, codes cleared. Let's just read them again to make sure. Yep, no fault codes. Brilliant, let's drop back. So I've just gone into live data. I'm just having a look at the list of live data that's available. It's the audio system. So there's a lot of the live data that we might not normally recognize, but let's just have a look at a few of these just to see if there's anything that uh, that we're familiar with. Let's go down. Max audio volume. What's that? Let's have a look. Okay. Select all. Right. Well, it's not something that means a great deal to me at the moment, but I'm sure it'd be useful if I was fault finding the audio system. Okay. Let's go into the next module. So the BCM, body control module. So we'll look at the fault codes you've got here. Right, okay. Well, hopefully those are just old code, so let's just clear those. So go back, clear codes. Yes. 
and let's just check now that the codes are cleared by reading them. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Right, which other modules do we have fault codes in? Let's have a look. Okay, gateway, read codes. Right, okay, let's just reset that one. Okay, check that. Gone, brilliant. Drop back. Uh, aircon, let's go into aircon. Read codes. Right, okay, well, let's just go back and reset those. Clear codes. Okay. Great, yep, yeah, they've gone. Let's have a look at the live data that we've got in the air conditioning system. Right. Okay, now what else have we got for codes in? Ah, yes, image processing, let's clear that one. Yeah, let's just clear that code. Okay. Let's just drop back the other fault codes. Oh, there we go, telematic. Just, okay, I think they're old codes, let's just clear those. So once you've cleared all the codes, then know if we're driving the car, anything new that appears is, is a genuine code that's still there. Great, I think that's that's all the codes cleared now. Right, well let's have a look at the ABS system and just see what live data we've got in here. So scroll down, various different live data functions that we can look at. Uh, so wheel speed, sensor direction status, okay. Select all. Okay. Right. Well, I suppose the car's not moving and the wheels aren't turning, so got uh, mixed live data on there. Which other ones we've got? Oh, wheel speeds. Let's try that one. Okay. Select all, okay. Oh, they're all zero, which is good. So we could take the car for a little short run and just see if those change. Lots of other different live data we could look at in there. So we on the parking brake. Try releasing the parking brake and see if this changes. There we go. So if we're moving the parking brake, we can see those live data values changing now. Let's just drop back out of here. So if we drop right back now to the, the main blue diagnostics page. And let's try going into maintenance. See what maintenance functions we've got on this car. So let's have a look. Um, so parking brake. European, there's the XE. There we go. Here's 2018. Okay. So we've got the maintenance mode functions of the XE there. Got 
break bleed functions as well. We'll reset. Yeah, we've got manual auto reset options. As you can see from the maintenance menu, there's a whole range of different maintenance functions available uh, for Jaguar cars as well as other makes supported by the tool. And uh, as always, if you'd like any more information about the Foxwell i80 Max or any other diagnostic tools, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.